A daily helping of bio live yogurt or sauerkraut could lower high blood pressure and cut the risk of a stroke or heart attack, even if you have a salty diet. Eating yogurt high in good bacteria could help lower high blood pressure, according to new research. In a scientific first, researchers have discovered diets high in salt are killing off beneficial bacteria in our guts. Without these friendly microbes, our bodies start producing cells that increase inflammation, making our blood vessels narrower, which puts people at risk of suffering a stroke or heart attack. But the germs in the gut that are killed off by high salt diets could be replaced by a dose of good bacteria in a probiotic yogurt drink, scientists said. Experiments on humans and mice that the unhealthy diet found the treatment reduced inflammation triggering cells that cause high blood pressure. Yet, experts warn further studies are required before probiotics can reliably be linked to reduce blood pressure. Professor David Relman from Stanford University in California, said, should hypertension be added to the list of conditions promoted by the gut microbiota? Future studies will no doubt tell. Yogurt therapies could tackle high blood pressure. Probiotics are commonly found in yogurts as well as fermented products such as sauerkraut. The American and German team warned it was not a license for people to consume as much salt as they like as long as they ate yogurt. But the breakthrough could lead to yogurt-based therapies to tackle high blood pressure, or hypertension, that affects one in four Britons. A diet high in salt is a major risk factor. Adults in the UK eat about 8.1 grams of salt a day, well above the recommendation of no more than 6 grams. Salt drives bacteria in the gut that cause hypertension. Professor Eric Alm, a biological engineer at Massachusetts Institute of Technology, said, I think certainly there's some promise in developing probiotics that could be targeted to possibly fixing some of the effects of a high salt diet. But people shouldn't think they can eat fast food and then pop a probiotic and it will be cancelled out. Professor Alm and colleagues showed a high salt diet shrank the population of a certain type of beneficial gut bacteria called Lactobacillus murinus. As a result pro-inflammatory cells of the immune system known as Th17, which have been linked with high blood pressure, grew in number. In the study of healthy humans adding 6 grams of table salt to their daily diet for a fortnight reduced the lactobacillus bacteria in their gut. Their blood pressure went up, along with their counts of Th17 cells. But when the participants, all male and aged 18 to 50, were given a commercially available probiotic for a week before going on the high salt diet their gut lactobacillus levels and blood pressure remained normal. This followed similar results in mice. For two weeks table salt made up 4% of their diet, eight times more than normal. This led to a drop in lactobacillus, more of the troublesome Th17 cells, and a rise in blood pressure. But when they were given a probiotic containing lactobacillus murinus the inflammatory cells went down and hypertension was reduced. It is still unclear exactly how Th17 cells contribute to the development of high blood pressure and other ill effects of a high salt diet profound potential for global health benefits. Professor Alm said, we are learning the immune system exerts a lot of control on the body, above and beyond what we generally think of as immunity. The mechanisms by which it exerts that control are still being unraveled. It is hoped the findings published in Nature will shed more light on the association between a high salt diet and disease. Professor Alm said, if you can find that smoking gun and uncover the complete molecular details of what's going on you may make it more likely that people adhere to a healthy diet. Scientists have long known a high salt diet can lead to cardiovascular disease. As it accumulates in the bloodstream the body retains more fluid to dilute it. It means the heart and blood vessels have to work harder to pump the extra volume of water. This can stiffen the blood vessels, potentially leading to high blood pressure, heart attack and stroke. Recent evidence has also implicated the body's immune system and some of the effects of a high-salt diet. Professor David Relman, of Stanford University in California, reviewed the findings for the journal and said they have profound potential. He said, should hypertension be added to the list of conditions promoted by the gut microbiota? Future studies will no doubt tell. If this connection is real, one might predict, because of other variable factors, that the effects will be modest and restricted to a subset of individuals. Nonetheless, even modest effects are more than worthy of further study, because of the profound potential for global health benefits. A shocking 16 million people in the UK suffer from high blood pressure, the biggest risk factor for stroke and heart attacks, with over half unaware they had half a condition. 
7 Tips to Have a Healthy Heart Your heart is the most important muscle in your body. However, people don't normally take care of it like they should until it doesn't work right. Heart diseases are one of the principal causes of death around the world. To avoid them, we recommend that you do everything you can to maintain a healthy heart. How? In this article, we'll tell you. Tips for a Healthy Heart Healthy habits are essential for both living longer and better. Reducing the risk of suffering any cardiac disease is simple. However, this depends on how much you want to change your day-to-day -day life. The small things in your everyday life can make the difference between having a healthy heart or suffering a heart disease. There are aspects that we can't change, sex, age, genes, etc. However, outside of them it's worth it to make the effort. Living a healthier life to take care of this muscle is very important. Pay attention to the following advice. 1. Start eating a balanced diet. We aren't saying that you have to give up flowers, fried foods, and sugars forever here. We aren't even saying that you need to start eating a vegetarian diet. However, you need to change the foods that you regularly eat. You need to avoid abusing saturated fats and manufactured foods. These are directly proportional to the risks of suffering from heart problems. Being careful with the amount of salt, red meat, and cold cuts you eat is important. On the other hand, Adding more fruits and vegetables to your diet is always good. They not only let you enjoy a healthy, they also help the rest of your organs to work perfectly. Legumes, nuts, and whole flowers should also be in your dishes. 2. Exercise Being sedentary is one of the main risk factors for coronary heart disease. On the other hand, playing sports and exercising give you many benefits. Among these benefits, you find weight loss, prevention of arteriosclerosis, and a reduction in cholesterol or blood sugar. For adults, it's recommended to get at least 150 minutes of moderate physical activity per week. You can also do 75 minutes of intense exercise. The ideal activities are aerobic, walking briskly, riding your bike, swimming, or running. 3. Eat healthy snacks. This could be at home or in the office. Try to change this habit that makes you choose unhealthy foods between meals. At mid-morning, don't go for a coffee with cream with a pastry. Instead, eat a yogurt with cereals or a fruit. When you get back from work, don't just sit on the couch with a bag of potato chips. Choose sunflower seeds or almonds instead. Healthy snacks don't need to be boring or flavorless. What about carrot sticks with hummus or eggplant cream? Or whole wheat sandwich with avocado and lean chicken? There are thousands of options at your fingertips. 4. Reduce your stress. Of course, there's a close relationship between nerves, anxiety and heart problems. Some people are more prone to suffer from stress. Many people let themselves be carried away by negative thoughts. If you find yourself in this group, you need to find a relaxation technique. You can try yoga, meditation, or even therapy. Other ideas are Traveling through the countryside Soaking in a bathtub at home Reading while stretched out on the couch Listening to relaxing music before going to sleep. 5. Don't smoke or drink alcohol. Tobacco has many dangerous substances. They cause lung or stomach cancer. In addition, it has a toxic effect on your heart, veins, and arteries. Cigarette smoke increases the possibilities of suffering from thrombosis and reduces your blood flow. Unfortunately, you have to be careful if you don't smoke. You could suffer the same effects if someone close to you has this habit. When talking about drinking alcohol, there is a comment that needs to be made. Drinking a glass of red wine per day isn't bad, it's just the opposite. Other drinks, especially those taken in excess, can cause severe heart problems. The appearance of heart diseases is often related to drinking too much alcohol. 6. Maintain your ideal weight. Obesity and being overweight are tied to several heart problems. Your body mass index is a test that can help you. It tells you exactly how many pounds you should weigh to be at your ideal weight. However, it's not the only method available. For those of us with a bit of extra weight, simply losing a bit of weight helps your blood pressure to regulate and your arteries to become healthier. Knowing what your ideal weight or size is isn't to make you obsessed. Instead, it's to help you decide to lose weight using every method available to you. Losing little by little is healthy for those of us with extra weight. It's healthier than a miracle diet that promises to help you lose 20 pounds in less than a week. Finally, you shouldn't stop eating to achieve your objective, you'll only end up making yourself sick. 7. Get enough sleep. 
How much is enough? That depends on each person. However, it's estimated that you should get between 7 to 9 hours of sleep as an adult. Having good sleep habits is beneficial for your heart. This is because it reduces your risk of tachycardia or heart attacks. If you only sleep for a few hours, your body won't produce the amount of serotonin it needs. This hormone is in charge of making you feel good and comfortable. If you don't find this hormone in normal doses, it can make you want to eat and drink more.